Hello my darlings and welcome to my room. So uh, today is going to be a little bit different of a video because I have some work to do and I really, really need your help. So as you guys know, uh, I'm moving now from South Africa to Poland and then I will probably be back again in a few months and I will basically go back and forth, which is mind-blowing and I will have to set up two new houses. So it's just crazy. Anyways, um, guys, I have a problem. As you guys know, I'm a perfume holder and uh, I decided that I will actually leave some perfumes here along with my hundred pairs of shoes, clothes, etc, etc. I just cannot bear packing it and taking it all again. It is just too much. It's a nightmare. So today we're going to work with all, with my perfumes on my bed and we're gonna go through them all and we're gonna decide I mean I'm gonna decide but I need your help in the comments uh, which perfumes I will take back with me to Poland and which perfumes will be staying here uh, also keeping in mind that I have another massive batch of perfumes at home with my mom so Without further ado, please don't forget to subscribe, of course, and follow me on Instagram, because I'm a cool person, eh? Um, but uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right, my darlings, this is what we are working with. Welcome to my bed. <laughs> wink, wink. Uh, but this is not as fun as other things we can do in bed, eh? Uh, we need to basically decide which perfumes we are keeping and which perfumes... Um, are staying here and I'm leaving them behind for now. So I think what we can start with, and of course this is a perfect exercise to also show you my current collection in here, don't mind my phone there. Um, let's start with Montals. So uh, with Montals, uh, the thing is that they are quite light. They are very lightweight. So I don't see the problem and issue when it comes to taking them all to uh, Poland in my suitcase. So here I have uh, chocolate greedy, intense tiara, chocolate greedy. This has gone off, but it's chocolate greedy. Uh, Rose elixir, intense cafe, Montal roses mask, and sweet vanilla. Actually, uh, intense cafe, I have another bottle in Poland. So this one actually will be staying in South Africa. Sorry, baby, but you have a brother in Poland. Okay, so from Montals, I will be taking all these uh, five perfumes. Uh, I'm still debating when it comes to Intense Tiare because it's more of a, um, you know, tropical, dense fragrance. Uh, I lost the cap, so now I need to switch back and forth between these. Um, so yeah, uh, these one I'm still thinking about if I should take it or not, but it's a very nice mixer for summer. So let me know what you think about Intense Tiare. I will put it, this will be our maybe pile, so this will be here. Okay, here I have two Saint Laurent perfumes. One is Libre and one is Manifesto. And to be completely honest, guys, even though I really appreciate these scents, I don't wear them that often. And to completely tell you straight away, I kind of find them a little bit similar. Like the vanilla vibe is very similar because you here you have vanilla with white florals and lavender and here you have vanilla with green notes. So, you know, the, the concept is quite similar here. So, I don't know. I think these two, and also they have quite heavy bottles, uh, these will go to the maybe pile as well, especially that I am actually um, debating on getting the intense version in Poland, so I will not need these two there. Um, so yeah, I think I will uh, leave behind these perfumes for now, so these will not go to the maybe pile, this will actually go to stay here pile. All right, we've done Montau, now here we have... Mirabile by Vicanto. And as much as I love the scent, 
Um, I reviewed it a couple of times here. Um, to be completely honest, I know that I will not wear it on a daily basis. And the only purpose of me taking it to Poland will be to include it in videos for you. But you know very well that I do own it and I've tested it out many times. Um, so since the bottle is quite heavy and I intend to get uh, more from Vicanto line, I will probably keep it in South Africa. Um, yeah, just because I will not wear it on a daily basis. And if I refer to it, I'll just put a picture for you like I do with my Polish collection at the moment. So yeah, that's Mirabile by Vicanto. Okay, now we have all my beautiful black bottles and some selfish bottles of Tom Ford. So guys, to be completely honest, I'll just take them all to Poland because I love them so much. Here we have Eau de Soleil Blanc, my gem, I love it. Noir de Noir is new to my collection, so I'm still like, you know, excited about it and I really want to like explore it and wear it more. Uh, even though my boyfriend loves it too and he will be very sad that I'm taking it because he will not be coming with me anytime soon. So these two are going with me. Uh, Orchid Soleil, guys, to be completely honest, um, I think I will leave it here. Um, of course, for the weight purposes, you know, I have to take as little as I can. And again, this is not a perfume that I wear all the time. And I always have to mix it with something to make it work because it's very dusty of a tuberose. So I think it's going to be the same story as with um, Vicanto here. Mm, I will just keep it in South Africa for now with my boyfriend. And yeah, uh, but uh, I'll be still thinking about it. Let me know in the comments what you think. All right, these three, like, no-brainer, these are all going with me. The only one intense love, I cannot live without it. This is like a coconut alien, basically, to me. Uh, both noirs are going with me for sure. And these two, yeah, I just talked about them. So, uh, I think we're done with Tom Ford, so let's move on. Okay, guys, now here I just have some samples and minis. Uh, Gris Dior, um... This is not an issue to take it, but to be completely honest, my boyfriend loves it so much that I might keep it for him here in South Africa, but we'll see. And here I just have Jasmine Rouge, uh, Feve Delicieuse, and Royal Princess Oud. So yeah, these are small and like, you know, cute. So I'll be taking all of them. And here I have some Federico Mahora mini. And I think it is a dupe for Oud Wood by Tom Ford. So I will just leave it with my boyfriend. He can just, you know, use it. Uh, okay, here we have some Chanel. So this is a new one in my collection. It's Chanel, the original Chance or the Parfum. And I'm just a no-brainer. I'm taking it for sure. Along with both of Coco Mademoiselle's, the original and the intense version. This one I love so, so much. And I must tell you guys, at first I didn't really get uh, many fruity notes from it. But at the moment, as as much as I use it now, and, you know, the more I wear it, the more I really get those beautiful, sweet, fruity touches in the heart of the fragrance. So um, just so you know, it is a little bit fruity as well, um, apart from being uh, heavy on vanilla and uh, patchouli. But this patchouli is actually sweeter to me than in the original. This is very warm. This is warm and sweet, I would say. So yeah, uh, these two I'm taking for sure to Poland. Love these. And of course, my Killians. Here I have Love, Don't Be Shy. Whoops, I almost slipped my camera. Uh, here I have my Love, Don't Be Shy. As you can see, it's been used and abused, guys. So yeah, I'm definitely taking it with me, especially that the bottle's small. And uh, same with um, Typical Me. Love this one, but I honestly love it on my boyfriend as well. So it's quite sad. But sorry, sorry, Ray, um, I'm taking it. Okay, and speaking of um, love, don't be shy. Here I have the refill. And I am low-key hoping that this will be still the old formulation. But probably I'm not that lucky. But yeah, the refill I will take as well since I'm almost out. Um, I don't want to rebuy it again. Okay, now we have Jo Malone, Mir and Tonka. This was one of my birthday gifts. Of course, I'm taking it. 
even though I must tell you guys, um, as much as I love it on myself, because it has a that beautiful tonka touch that is just so sweet, it is a little bit smoky, and to me, it's perfect for men. Um, and I love it on my boyfriend. So, again, another set story, uh, because as you know, guys, uh, we share a lot of perfumes together because we have so, so much. Of course, my collection is uh, bigger because I work on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, and now I'm sure Reyaz's collection is gonna grow and grow and grow and might even outgrow mine. Anyways, Joe Malone, Marian Tonka is definitely going with me. So yeah, and again, how could I not take, um, Oud Satin Mood by Kurjan? This is my favorite Oud at the moment. Although, although guys, I have some amazing, amazing surprises for you when I come home to Poland. So many beautiful perfumes are waiting for us for the videos. So yeah, another beautiful oud is coming to my collection, but this one I just have to have. And by the way, I didn't use that much and I did really overspray with this. And I was at a party last week and everyone was obsessed with how I smelled. And funny story, I mixed this with instant crush by Mancera. I mix these two. So I was basically a powerhouse of a fragrance person. <laughs> uh but it worked. But it worked and it didn't offend anyone. But uh keeping in mind that the party was outside. So yeah, you can only mix them if the party is outside. Uh other than that they're beautiful and of course instant crush it's newer to my collection. I am taking it for sure. To me this is a um, sweet oud with some vibe of Baccarat, but not really. To me, it's just amazing. I love it. So yeah, I am taking these two. Speaking of Baccarat, guys, now we have two bottles. The big one, uh, which is unused. So I'm very happy and excited about it. I will probably be taking this one and this one. It's quite on its last legs. So my plan is to just use it up and, you know, just get rid of the bottle because uh, I don't see myself carrying uh, a drop of perfume uh, with such a heavy bottle. It's a nonsense. So I will just use it up since I'm here. I will just make sure it's gone and that's it. And I will just take the big bottle with me, even though it's quite big. And I definitely do intend to repurchase the extract version because I like it more. It's more dense on me. Um, so yeah, in Poland, I'll be definitely getting the extract version, but I still have to have something to play with. So Baccarat Rouge is coming with me, even though it's massive. Okay, what do we have next? Let me make some space. All right. We have some space now. Labelle. Okay, guys. So the story with Labelle is that I have another bottle in Poland, which is used like up to the boobs. So uh, there is literally no point in me taking this bottle since... It's completely full. And also, uh, I already ordered the intense version. So, by the way, is that camera focusing? What's going on? Huh. I hope you can see properly. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, the intense version, the new version of Label is coming to me. It's already uh, in my mom's hands. So, yeah, this one is going there at the no-no pile. Okay, what else do we have next? Oh, so with this one, I do have a problem because to me, it's a very unique scent, Womanity by Megla. But on the other hand, I really have to be in a very particular mood to use this one. It's very salty and very figgy green. Um, my boyfriend really doesn't like it, so I might just leave it with him. Maybe, you know, maybe he will play and... And change his mind. Anyways, um, the bottle is quite heavy. And as I said, I'm not using it as much that I should um, bring it back to Poland. Because there are so many new perfumes and old perfumes waiting for me. 
and for you to uh, see in the videos that I don't think I just need it. I've spoken about it enough. So yeah, uh, womanity. Sorry. Okay, next one. Delina, Delina. It has to come, eh? Especially that, um, again, some new perfumes, the Marley bottles are coming uh, and are waiting for me. So I just want to see how beautifully it looks on the counter. So yeah, I just really want to have this in my collection in Poland. Of course, the bottle is messed up because of the traveling. But yeah, I love the Lina, my favorite uh, sexy, fresh, rosy, fruity scent. So that's going with me. Another uh, beautiful freshy. Um, I mean, it's not too fresh. It's actually quite dense, but perfect for summer is Dolce Garden. And again, uh, another one from this collection is waiting for me uh, to review it for you guys. So I would like to have them both uh, with me so I can compare, etc., etc. So Dolce Garden is coming with us. Uh, by the way, I just had my nails done. How do you like it? It's very not what I typically go for. I go for much shorter nails. Uh, but I finally have the French fade and I feel like it looks fabulous. And on this one, I have some glitter. I don't know if you can see, but it's glorious. Uh, hard to wash your bum, but <laughs> still, whatever. Kayalis. Let's talk about Kayalis. Uh, I think I will take them because uh, they are very good mixing scents. So I feel like, you know, whatever I have and I mix with either or this one or this one, it will transform to a completely different scent. So I will probably need them and probably use them a lot. Uh, but I'm still debating, to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, I think I'll take them because I know I will regret if I don't. So they're coming. And now, guys, oh, this is going to be so bad because I know I'm going to take them all. Except from the fact that I have two princesses. One is completely new. By the way, you can see me in the in the bubble. Hello, 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 in my white casual t-shirt. Uh, so, yeah, um, I have two princesses. So, like, uh, tell me how much of an idiot I am to bring these two here in the first place. But... I think I just, you know, I was just so stressed and I got something messed up. Anyways, I'll be just taking one princess. I just need to figure out which one is new, but I think it's this one. So this one will stay in South Africa. And all these three are coming with me because I love wearing them. This one, I am really hoping I'll get a bigger bottle as well because I love it. I love kissing in life and in a perfume <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, these three are coming with me no joke i need to have them now we have some beautiful mudlas let me put this away all right ah guys i think i'll take them both because uh as much as i maybe don't uh, have them as my signature scent or whatever I really, really like having them on hand because if it's hot or if I'm feeling particularly girly or something, I just reach for these. This is more of a passion fruit with like a chocolatey vibe, you know, like a very gourmandish in the background. It has some cassis, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is like a basically a fruit punch raspberry with rose and I do really pick up lychee from it which really really reminds me of um the Lina uh I know some people don't see the resemblance at all but to me on my skin the lychee from Angel Nova really really pulls through and that's how I feel like they are a little bit similar and I know very well that this was inspired. Angel Nova was definitely inspired by the Lina's success. So Mugler wanted to create something uh, in within those lines. So yeah, anyways, I'll be taking them both. Why not? Oh, here's my go there. Go there. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go through these lovely freshies quick, quick. So the first we here have, um, what English is that? Here we have, <laughs> uh, Chanel Chance of Fresh and we have two bottles. So this one is completely full unused and this one is quite on its last legs. And I know with my overspraying, I will be able to use it up. So let's say this is staying in South Africa 
and this one is coming with me to Poland, the full bottle. So yeah, this one I'll use up, I promise. All right, next we have uh, Aqua Allegorias, Limon Verde and uh, Tezura. I love both of these and uh, there's nothing I can do but to leave them in a maybe pile and you guys have to help me with deciding should I take them or should I not take them. Okay, here we have Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. You know, this is one of my favorite freshies, but I will keep it in South Africa just because I have another bottle in Poland, uh, which is like half used, maybe up to here, if I remember correctly. And yeah, this one is basically pretty much full. So I'll just keep it in my keep it in South Africa pile. And now we have a very similar story. Look, guys, what I've done. Why did I take two Olympias with me? And Olympia intends to add up to that. Um, so uh, I will just take... Um, actually, guys, I'm not sure, but I think I still have an Olympia bottle, like almost used, but still in Poland. So I'm thinking... I'm sh I surely do have the intense version, like half used there. Um, so I'm thinking, should I even take them at all? You know what I mean? It's, oh, because this is like another kilogram in my suitcase to take them. And I know I have the backups in, bo in Poland, in boxes. So with Olympia Intense, I think I'll leave it in South Africa because I surely, surely 100% have a backup. And with these... I think I'll leave one and take one with me just in case I don't have a backup. Uh, I use Olympia's like water, so I'll use it up anyway. So that's fine. Yeah, let's have one Olympia going to Poland and these two will stay here. And now we have Dior saint -Alain. Of course, it's coming with me, like no doubt about that. I love it. And Chloe Nomad Absolu also is coming with me i love it it's like a woody earthy sweet perfume it's like earthy notes combined with mirable plum i love it love it love it love it so this is coming to poland <laughs> now uh these two uh, molina vani i don't like this fragrance i'll keep it here in south africa just in case you know i'm not gonna toss it so i'll just keep it here and with Razazi, guys, I'll be honest, <laughs> again, I have a backup in Poland, which was actually used more than this one. Um, so I think I'll leave it here again, because I have that perfume in Poland already. So it's no use, because I got so excited about me discovering the scent that I, you know, backed up myself. And now I have two, so one can stay here. Great! All right, here we have two Manceras and... I will probably keep holidays here just because I know very well I will most likely wear it only for literally holidays. So I don't see myself wearing it in Polish climate. I specifically bought it for summer getaways, going to the beach, sitting at the resort. You know what I mean? So this one I will probably leave in South Africa since it's definitely more appropriate for this climate. And I know what you might say, Paulina, you still might go on holidays with your mom or friends or whatever. Yes, that's true. Um, but I still have other freshies, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I'll leave it in South Africa. I really think I'll leave it because the bottle is super heavy and this is... As much as I love it, absolutely love it, this was like my discovery of the year last year, um, this is not a fragrance that I'm reaching for on a daily basis, definitely not. So I think holidays will stay here. And now we have Velvet Vanilla and this is definitely coming with me. I, I love it and I might even get a bigger bottle, but I'm still pretty full, so not yet. But yeah, this one is going with me. Along with, of course, Rouge Malahit. I love this perfume. Somebody uh, in the comments told me it's getting discontinued. Can you please confirm if it's true? Because if it, it is, um, I need to stock up with these ones. 
Okay, now my new baby, Jo Malone, uh, Velvet Rose. No, it's not velvet. It's just roses and white mask. Absolute though. Um, I love it. This is uh, one of my favorite orientals at the moment. So definitely going with me. Another, oh, let's go with this rose now. Uh, so here we have Nina Ricci Lextaz. And, uh, I know very well that my mom is gonna be head over heels with this fragrance. This is so my mom. So I will probably take it with me and give it to my mom. Uh, cause I know she's gonna be obsessed way more than I am. Uh, I love it, but you know, not that much. Okay. Uh, next we have Mongerlain. And with this one, uh, I actually have an issue with because first of all, the bottle is quite heavy. I love the scent and I wear it on a daily basis, but I'm really, really craving on getting the intense version. So what if I finally get the intense and I bring this big bottle with me as well? Ugh, I don't know, guys. Let me know. But like first intuition is you're coming with me to Poland. So, so let's keep it that way. Maybe we will change as we go. Okay, guys, only a few left, so let's go ahead. Alien. Okay, guys, this one I will keep here in uh, South Africa because I, again, have a backup bottle of this baby at home, so there's no use, and I can always repurchase, so that's fine. Uh, with this one, this is the extra ordinaire version. This one I need to take because um, I literally have that much of the old bottle in Poland, so, you know, I will run up soon. And I love this one. So yeah, this one is coming with me. And now we have three beautiful Dior poisons. Uh, and I think they will all come with me. This one is my only issue because I really don't reach for it that much. This is really not like my kind of scent. You know what I mean? This is 100% me. This is like 200% me. This, mm, not so much. I like it, but it's not Paulina. You know what I mean? It's nice to have, but it's not Paulina. Um, so this one, I think I will put in a maybe pile right with these babies. Okay. And uh, these two, we will pack to Poland. Okay. Now we have, come here, come here, you ball sack. Uh, now we have a sense absolute. Of course, I'm taking it and I will be on hand for more of these. I really wish I got two bottles when I bought them because they were like so perfectly in stock um, in the beginning of the year. But yeah, sad times. Okay, uh, L'Imperatrice 3 uh, by Dolce Gabbana. I really like the scent. I use it like from day to day with jeans and white t-shirt. You know what I mean? It's like my jeans white t-shirt scent. And uh, I think this is a very nice replacement for something like holidays, even though holidays have Amaze has amazing projection and longevity. It's so much better than this one. But I think actually I grab this more often, uh, which is weird because, you know, the the parameters of this baby are worse than Mansara holidays. But um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, Say with this one. Another launch in Cabana. This is Pour Femme. This is a beautiful, like, um, raspberry marshmallow scent and vanilla, a little bit powdery. Really, really beautiful. And uh, I don't know, because I know that I will be probably getting the intense version in Poland because I saw it with a very good price. So tell me what you think. Should I take it with me uh, just to take it and then get the intense version anyway? Or should I keep it in South Africa? Let me know. Same with this one. I, I'm really on the fence. So this will go to the maybe pile right there. Okay. And last but definitely not least, we have Dior Addict. And this one I'll take. This one I'll simply take because if it's raining in Poland or it's just colder and I want to go out with my girls, I will probably wear this one. So yeah. So guys, this is it. This is how our stash looks like at the moment. This is all... I will be taking to Poland. Ooh, that's a lot. And here we have the stash that we are not taking, which is also quite decent. I'm actually quite proud of myself, to be completely honest. But still, let me know in the comments below if this is reasonable. Is it reasonable, guys? 
I know this doesn't look reasonable at all. I mean, like, come on. But you know what I do, right? It's my job. So um, I think I got rid of quite a bit anyways. And uh, please let me know in the comments, what do you think about these ones? Keep or take? This one? Poison, pure poison. And those two freshies. Should I keep them in South Africa or should I take them home? They look beautiful on the counter though. So it's quite sad not to take them, is it? Okay. And this is what I am leaving behind here. I mean, my boyfriend will take care of them. Nothing will happen to them. I'll still have them. Don't worry. They're not going to trash. <laughs> They're just staying in a safe box hidden in my boyfriend's house. So that's it. And this is what I have to pack. Okay, guys. So there's one last look. I color coordinated the bottles for you so it's easier. So here we have the pinks, all four. Here we have the golden bottles. So all Chanel's, Olympia, Guerlain. Dior, Alien, Chloe, Alien. Here we have the Fremont House. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep the sweet vanilla um, in South Africa as well. But please let me know what you think. This is the no pile, by the way. So yeah, let me know about sweet vanilla. Uh, this I'm taking. These are the red bottles or red-ish bottles. Here we have two white ones. And um, no, sorry, three <laughs> white bottles, two white Killians, and Tom Ford. And here we have all the black bottles. This looks, by the way, so good. Mm. And yeah, and this. So this is all I'm taking. Okay. Yeah, that's it, guys. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think about my maybe pile. Oh, there's also Intensia right here is a maybe pile. And yeah, this was very excruciating. I'm absolutely exhausted, so I'm not even going to show my face uh, in the end. So this is my outro, guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you tomorrow. Bye.